Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about an infectious disease that was once a common childhood illness, but thanks to vaccines, it's now rare in developed countries. We're talking about mumps. What is mumps? Mumps is a viral infection caused by the mumps virus, which spreads from person to person through respiratory droplets, such as saliva, when an infected person coughs or sneezes. It primarily affects the salivary glands, located in the lower jaw, causing them to swell and become painful. This swelling can also occur in other parts of the body, including the testicles in males, the ovaries in females, and the brain. History of Mumps The history of mumps dates back several centuries, although the disease wasn't officially recognized and distinguished from other viral illnesses until the mid-19th century. The first recorded epidemic of mumps occurred in England in 1592. During the 17th and 18th centuries, mumps continued to be a common childhood illness in Europe, and it was often confused with measles and scarlet fever. In 1934, researchers at the Rockefeller Institute for Medical Research in New York City collected saliva and urine samples from infected patients and discovered that the virus was present in these fluids. How Mumps Virus Transmits The mumps virus is primarily spread through respiratory droplets from an infected person. When an infected person talks, coughs, or sneezes, they release small droplets into the air that can be inhaled by others nearby. The virus can also be spread by direct contact with saliva or mucus from an infected person, such as sharing utensils or kissing. Mumps is most contagious during the first few days after symptoms appear, but the virus can also be spread before symptoms develop and up to five days after symptoms appear. Mumps outbreaks often occur in settings where people are in close contact with each other, such as schools, colleges, and camps. The virus can spread quickly in these settings, particularly if vaccination rates are low. Pathogenesis of mumps. The mumps virus enters the body through the respiratory tract and infects the cells lining the airways. The virus then begins to replicate within the cells, producing new viral particles that can infect nearby cells. The immune system recognizes the virus as foreign and mounts an inflammatory response, which can cause further damage to the respiratory tissue. As the virus continues to replicate, it can spread to the salivary glands, where it can infect the cells that produce saliva. The virus enters these cells and replicates, leading to the production of large amounts of viral particles. This can cause the cells to burst, releasing viral particles into the saliva and leading to the characteristic swelling of the salivary glands. The immune system also recognizes the virus in the salivary glands and mounts an inflammatory response, which can cause pain and tenderness in the affected area. In addition to the salivary glands, the mumps virus can also infect other organs and tissues, such as the testes, ovaries, pancreas, and central nervous system. This can lead to complications such as orchitis, meningitis and encephalitis. Symptoms of mumps. The symptoms of mumps can vary widely, and some people may not have any symptoms at all. However, common symptoms of mumps include 1. Swollen and tender salivary glands. The most common symptom of mumps is swollen and tender salivary glands, usually the parotid glands located on either side of the face, just below the ears. 2. Fever. Mumps can cause fever, which typically lasts for a few days. 3. Headache. Many people with mumps experience headaches, which can range from mild to severe. 4. Muscle aches. Mumps can cause muscle aches and fatigue. 5. Loss of appetite. Some people with mumps may experience a loss of appetite. 6. Pain while chewing or swallowing. The swelling of the salivary glands can make it painful to chew or swallow. 7. Dry mouth. In some cases, the swelling of the salivary glands can lead to a decrease in saliva production, resulting in a dry mouth. 8. Nausea and vomiting. Some people with mumps may experience nausea and vomiting. In addition to these symptoms, mumps can sometimes lead to complications, such as inflammation of the testicles or ovaries, meningitis, encephalitis, or pancreatitis. These complications can cause more serious symptoms and may require medical treatment. Diagnosis of mumps. Since the symptoms of mumps can be similar to those of other viral infections, a laboratory test is often necessary to confirm the diagnosis. Clinical symptoms. The most common symptom of mumps is the swelling and tenderness of the salivary glands, especially the parotid glands. A healthcare provider can usually diagnose mumps based on the presence of these symptoms. Laboratory tests. The most common test used for viral diagnosis is a viral culture, which involves taking a sample of saliva or other bodily fluids and growing the virus in a laboratory. Another test that may be used viral diagnosis is a polymerase chain reaction. 
PCR, test, which detects the genetic material of the virus in a sample. Blood tests can also be used for diagnosis purpose to check for antibodies to the mumps virus. Antibodies are proteins produced by the immune system in response to an infection, and their presence can indicate a recent or past infection with the mumps virus. How to prevent mumps? Mumps can be prevented with vaccination and good hygiene practices. Here are some key steps to prevent mumps. 1. Vaccination. The most effective way to prevent mumps is by getting vaccinated with the MMR vaccine. 1. The vaccine is typically given in two doses, first dose at 12 to 15 months of age and the second dose between 4 to 6 years of age. 2. Good hygiene practices. Mumps is spread through respiratory droplets, so good hygiene practices can help prevent the spread of the virus. 2. These include covering your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing, washing your hands frequently with soap and water. 3. Isolation. People who have mumps should be isolated from others for at least five days after the onset of symptoms to prevent the spread of the virus to others. 4. Avoiding close contact with infected individuals. If you have been in close contact with someone who has mumps, it is important to monitor yourself for symptoms and seek medical attention if symptoms develop. 5. Boosters. In some cases, a booster dose of the MMR vaccine may be recommended, especially during outbreaks or if you are at higher risk of contracting mumps. Treatment of mumps. Mumps is a viral infection that usually resolves on its own without treatment. It is important to note that there are no specific antiviral medications for treating mumps. Antibiotics are not effective against viral infections and are not usually prescribed unless there is a bacterial infection present. Most people with mumps recover fully within two weeks without any complications. However, in rare cases, mumps can lead to more serious complications such as meningitis, encephalitis, or deafness. If you experience any severe symptoms or complications, seek medical attention immediately. Overall, the best way to prevent mumps is to get vaccinated with the MMR vaccine and practice good hygiene habits to reduce the spread of the virus. Conclusion. That's all for today's video on mumps. Remember, prevention is key. So, make sure you and your loved ones are up to date on your vaccines. If you think you may have mumps, see your healthcare provider for a proper diagnosis and treatment. Thank you for watching and stay healthy.